Hey, it's Jazz, and this is Wildlife Matters. Around the world, there are different types of unusual dishes across different cultures, and the Philippines is no stranger to that. For the brave ones, exotic dishes are considered a food adventure, and for the not-so-brave ones, they're considered as gross. Balot, frog legs, chicharon bulaklak, adidas, isaw, all are unusual yet well-loved in the Philippines. So we're now gonna eat some elok. Oh my god, I'm eating a worm. Last is on chicharon. It's good. But with people's experimentation of more and more exotic dishes, do we ever ask the question, how far can we actually go? Like all things in life, we need to have moderation. We need to draw the line. Making exotic dishes out of readily available livestock or food is one thing, but making it out of threatened species is another. And that's where it gets out of hand. For the context of this video, let me just make it clear that the animals that I'm talking about that you're not supposed to eat are the ones that are not on the list of animals the law says that we're allowed to eat. Meaning these animals are actually illegal to eat and are punishable by law. Some people believe that eating certain exotic animals have medicinal benefits for humans. But these are things that have never been proven and are mostly just false beliefs. But what we do know for sure is that a lot of these animals are harmful if consumed by humans. Snakes, for example, are hosts to parasites, bacteria, and viruses. In a study published in the International Journal of Food Microbiology, it was shown that people can catch many diseases from eating snakes, and the biggest risk comes from bacteria such as Salmonella, Shigella, and other types of bacteria which can cause several illnesses. Abdominal cramping, pain, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting are all symptoms of bacterial infections that you can get from eating snakes. Eating bayawak or monitor lizards is also poisonous for humans. Yep, I said it, poisonous. Because as mammals, we just don't have the enzymes to digest the bacteria that these creatures have in their bodies. And so it becomes poison to our system. These creatures are scavengers, and it's a well-known fact that their saliva has a lot of bacteria that is used in killing their prey. And the same really goes with a lot of other wildlife that we're really not supposed to be eating. Let's not forget that eating exotic food we're not supposed to eat is what caused this corona pandemic in the first place. A lot of these dishes are also one of the threats wildlife is facing today. While exotic dishes like adidas and balut aren't really causing harm because they're farm animals, wildlife like monitor lizards, stingrays, snakes, cloud rats, sharks, dolphins, and whales are becoming even more threatened because of hunting and because people have been turning them into delicacies. Think about it. Are you gonna lose so much out of deciding not to eat exotic wildlife? I'm not even asking you to stop eating exotic dishes in general. And I'm not even asking you to stop eating meat. All I'm asking is that you stop eating exotic dishes that you're not supposed to. And again, just to make it clear, I'm talking about the animals that are not on the list of animals we are allowed to eat by law. Because number one, it's illegal. And number two, it's poison to our bodies. And number three, it threatens wildlife. What would it cost to make a choice not to eat these dishes anymore? Nothing. What would it cost to continue eating them? To the environment and humans, a lot. I'd like to invite you to make a choice to spare that meal for the sake of saving our species. And remember that every piece of wildlife matters.